Welcome. Today we're going to look at a cool little app called Home Row for macOS, which lets you use your mouse or your trackpad less. Very much like Vimium C did for Firefox uh, and Chrome, which I've shown earlier, and I'll link somewhere up above. Before we get started, if you like this video, thumbs up, bell, all that YouTube stuff, subscribe. Best way to really support the channel is to go to curtismichael.ca slash membership, become a member, keep all this content coming. Let's dive in. All right, so this is the home row site, and you can see it. I actually really like the echo on this. So this lets you, and you can see some some of the demos here, uh, actually click through on things in the Mac OS interface. You can see, right, it has the letters showing up. It's actually kind of zooming around, so it's hard to see. Well, that's really what it lets you do, and the pricing on it is right at the bottom. Oh, after all this. So for one Mac, $29 a year, you get to use it forever in its current state, so whatever it's updated to by the time your subscription ends and you get updates for one year. For two Macs, it's 39, for three, it is 49. So Mac OS devices. So I just have the single license right here. So it does things very similar to Vimium C. Vimium C lets you click on stuff in your browser, but this, if I hit, uh, for me, it's Shift Command Space. You can see it actually lets me click on the file menu. It lets me click on the Apple menu in the top corner. It lets me click on stuff inside Firefox as well, where I could say, okay, and now I have the file menu open and then I could choose things in the file menu as well, right? Go down and actually choose the things that I want in there without actually needing to um, use my mouse, my trackpad at all right here. Another thing this lets you do, I'll go to Obsidian and if I hit Shift Command J, you can see I've got this green highlight around the window now, and I can scroll using H, J, K, and L keys, which is the standard Vim keys, if you know them. And finally, we can look at the settings quickly, right? You can set your click shortcut. Uh, you can press space or return to click, depending on what you want. Um, record shortcut for searching. I've never really used that. It shows you the web results, so you can actually search in the web from there. Scrolling, Shift Command J, you can set that again. You can change how the arrows work as well. If you want to do the arrows, I just like the scroll keys H, J, K, L. I'm used to them from Vim. So don't worry about it. Let's you set your scroll speed. You can set exceptions for some things. So Obsidian has some issues. It occasionally gets blocked out. I've never noticed it. I use it inside of Obsidian just fine. As you can see, right, if I do Shift, right, now I can click on anything in the Obsidian interface. I'm AP, bring my sidebar up. DE to close it again. Now, Obsidian has its own keyboard commands for this, right? I can go sidebar, toggle left sidebar, do the same thing. So, that is what I use Home Row for, for navigating the macOS interface without my trackpad so that I just don't have to use it because it's faster to keep my hands on the keyboard or uh, anytime. So, that's what I really like it for. I recommend it. Great little app to enhance your macOS workflow. If you like this video, thumbs up below. If you, you know, subscribe, bell, all that stuff that YouTube says. Best way to really is to become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Have an awesome day.